Hello, I'm here at the 10th Annual Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles, California. I'm pleased to be joined with Laura Eisenhower. Thank Laura. you so much. We just sat through 90 minutes of mind expansion, uh, a lot. We have a lot of listeners, some are into politics, some are into sports, some are into spirituality, all across the board. Can you try to introduce yourself to these people who don't know your body work, much like I didn't 90 minutes ago? Sure. Well, I, my name is Laura Eisenhower, and um, I go by a title called Global Alchemist, which means I get really into the transmutation process of our planetary body, of our own individual selves, um, and our soul journey, and um, also cosmic mythologist, which really, to me, represents just the awareness of the soul story in our creation, and um, you know the different things that we learned from our ancient history based on these myths, and how we're continuing to write them and uh, co-create, you know, with our planetary body as our ar archetypal energies um, are basically telling the story. Um, a lot of it's really about understanding what's inside rather than looking always externally. And when we can own all these energies within us and integrate them and balance them, then we re really send out a frequency that changes everything and shifts us in this higher awareness, higher existence, and higher density. Um, and so my body work is as an experiencer, as a whistleblower to a recruitment I went through in 2006 to take me to an off-planet colony on Mars. Um, my great-grandfather is President Eisenhower, so a lot of my work is about exposing the truth of the military-industrial complex, the deepest of layers, how I got wrapped up in it, and how my mission is to put an end to it and empower the human spirit um, and expose you know, these hidden agendas. Now, being that your great-grandfather was, was Eisenhower, we're at a crucial time here in, in our country's history, whatever, the, the December 21st, 2012, people are kind of wondering what's going on. You mentioned something about not looking outside to politicians for answers, although there are some good people. I'm a, I'm a freedom and liberty guy myself. Personal responsibility, I, I don't want to be controlled or enslaved. You discuss some of that. So can you first discuss some of that power, that, that powering um, force that is kind of crippling a lot of us right now? And what do you see, being an Eisenhower, I have to ask you during this, this time, we're getting close to an election, not a particular candidate, but are there certain issues or is there anybody starting to pique your interest as an ambassador to try to help? Well, um, I'm not really pro uh, government or presidencies right now because after my great grandfather was in office, the presidency really turned into a CIA project. Most of the presidents, all the presidents since him or after Kennedy, were really groomed to be in that position. Um, it's a very controlled position, it's very manipulated. Uh, the government doesn't tell us the truth about what's going on. So I focus on personal empowerment and, and taking responsibility, but also being very open to people that really do want to serve, really do want to run, really do want to be in the political game to change it, but to have discernment because uh, there's a lot of very sophisticated ways that they manipulate us and put folks out there to really just give our power away and, 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 and mess with our hopes so that we um, expect change from a individual rather than ourselves. Two, I heard two buzzwords from a recent election, hoping for change. Right, and, and we are A lot changing. of people feel empty, like, I didn't really, I'm not moved by what happened here. You know, three years later, we're just kind of... Exactly. Yeah. And so. this is the thing, it's like, they're, they're, they'll continue to to act like the, 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 the leaders that are helping us deal with war and um, the war on terror while they're signing our rights away and our freedoms away um, and really looking to start a police state or treating, you know, Occupy movement and, and treating the people um, like garbage. Um, and this really shows the true government and the nature of what we're dealing with. We're not dealing with anybody who's looking out for our best interests. The person that piques my interest is, of course, Ron Paul, but at the same time, I'm very wary. I've got my discernment hat on because... And, at arm's length. Arm's length. Cautiously optimistic, yeah. but you're not drinking the Kool-Aid. Right, exactly. It's like, I, I'm, I'm all about, you know, somebody really taking a stand and creating change, but that is, is not an isolated thing and none of us should just count on it. Right. We can support it, we can be open to it, we can you know, get a good feeling about somebody, but it's really about us right now. It's really about our internal soul work, it's about our energies, um, it's about understanding that our higher self provides for us, that Gaia is the true leader, and that 
we are in a flow of really reconnecting with that because the flow of nature only knows how to heal, regenerate, and, and, and take care of us because it's Mother Earth. She looks out for us. And um, so I really focused a lot on, on our abilities to not need to rely on the money system, to not need to rely on governments. But if we do get a person in there that's willing to change the game, I, I say, you know, by all means be open to it, but I tend to steer away from it after all that I've been through and been exposed to. And, and my <laughs> great-grandfather... all of it. Exactly. And my great-grandfather's warning about the military-industrial complex is focused in on the power, uh, power structure power. Of, of the global elite, the shadow government, which which runs itself through our government. So he wasn't really into the position he was in and, and was warning us that his job is not what it looks like. So your number one piece of advice to people spiritually, quasi polit that much politically, but, but spiritually, focused more spiritually. Your advice to anybody out there that is kind of feeling that dark cloud or the, the gloom that's been over right. us for three years after the recession and after a decade after 9-11, you just feel a gloom. What is your advice to people to lift them up out of that and, and the thing that they can do to help themselves? Okay, well, duality is, is here to teach us. Uh, we go through adversity, we go through pain, we go through anguish and disappointment for a lesson of awareness, to, to really remember who we are and what we're capable of. Our belief systems are manipulated. We um, get that through television, religion, and government, uh, school systems. I'm not saying it's all bad either, but we have to be careful and, and know ourselves well enough to discern fact from fiction. And we need to challenge the things that we hear. We can't just blindly follow anything. So I encourage people to understand that duality is the game of this 3D realm. And our job is to understand it, learn from it, grow from it, not go into fear, but recognize that there's so much more beyond that that we're all made of that is unified. That That, that is the truth, that we're a unified field. We are one. And fear is not truth. Fear is a catalyst for us to have enough of the lies, enough of the doom, enough of the feelings of suffering and, and even illness till we have nowhere left to go but home within ourselves to our true divine nature, which can heal and resolve everything. And I don't say that because I'm philosophical, I say it because I've been through it myself. That's what got me out of the Mars recruitment. And these were heavy technologies, this was a heavy agenda, this was not easy to break free of. And um, these simple things and awareness is what, is what did it. So to talk to anyone, final question, to talk to anyone, what are you going to be doing on December 21st, 2012? What is, what is your game plan? I don't even know. I'm just kind of going with the Me flow, neither. and I'm like, I'm kind of like, you know, a floating seat, just wherever I land. It's just kind of, I don't want to make plans. I just kind of want to be in the right place at the right time, and just following my heart every day. I'm feeling that as well. Yeah. Now, can you tell everybody where they can find out more online to get into the other, where they can learn more about what you're working on? Uh, yeah, my uh, website's Cosmic Gaia, C O S M I C Gaia, G A I A, 2012.com. I'm on Facebook. I post a lot there. Uh, Laura Magdalene Eisenhower is the name. Um, my contact information is there, and um, I'm available to do readings, help people deprogram, help people get out of the fear, out of the illusion, and really wake up. And that's really what I'm here to do. Um, and so that's that's how to contact me. Well, I got to tell you, and everybody else viewing, I had no idea who Laura was a day ago, and I kept running into this person, this individual. She kept saying, "Yeah, and Laura Eisenhower, I'm going to go to this thing." All right, Eisenhower, I know the name. I don't know what it's about. If you don't know who she is, take a few minutes, look through her Facebook site, check out her website, because it was 90 minutes of really intense mental workout. I recommend it highly. Laura? Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thanks, everybody.